not what you know, it's what you see. Okay. Now maybe I'll add a little bit more. Oh, and incidentally, I can always use the shorter blade to cut across the paint, so I'm not using a the wider part. Maybe there's a little bit of a top to this rock up here. Uh, maybe there's some more highlights there. There we go. And I'm going to switch to using my filbert now so I can show you a different, uh, another different way of uh, creating some rocks. Uh, more like pebbles around the water and in the water. I'm using the filbert and I'm just loading it with the brown and black mixture. Then on one side I'm picking up a little bit of white. So one side is the dark mixture, Van Dyke brown and black. The other side is a little bit of white. And if I hold the handle so that the lighter color is on the top, and I just touch the canvas, and I curve my stroke, touch and curve, touch and curve. These are called, um, well, I call them little smiles, side smiles. This is the stroke in slow motion that I'm doing. Touch and turn. And if I add a little bit more color to my brush, and I go this way, I hold the handle towards the side, and I touch and turn my brush. Touch and turn, touch and turn, touch and turn. I can ease up on my pressure to create little tiny pebbles in the water. Touch and turn, touch and turn. Little baby ones throughout the splash. Now as I keep going, they get lighter and lighter, which is great. It gives me automatically different values. As long as you can incorporate that in your paintings, they look realistic. Uh, I can have some foliage in here, maybe. Who knows? I'm going to finish this with something. Now, if you don't see too much of a difference, like right here, that's that one, um, I lost the dark. I can go back with a reloaded brush and get that color contrast back in. And I'm adding bigger ones at the bottom. You can add smaller ones at the bottom. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of nature. It's always different. Uh, let's see. Let's do one great big one. There's a great big one. Maybe that's pushing back this water. Now I'm losing the dark because it's mixing with wet paint, so I can go back in there with a little bit of a darker shade. And I think that's it for now. I'll add a little bit of a lighter color up top. Now if I pull down, if I touch and pull with one side of my brush, it causes the shape of the rock to look like it's vertical, just like these. I could make these the same way with the filbert. It wouldn't give this, you know, it would give a similar look, not the same, but uh, just by pulling downward with my brush creates that vertical cliff look. And then when I go over top of it with a lighter value, for example, if I turn this brush a little bit, it creates a little, little um, round-shaped rocks. And I can go down the bottom back part of it very lightly with vertical shape rocks. contrast. Uh, let's see right here. Remember, spend time looking at rocks. 
you'd be surprised. You'd be painting them and saying, oh my goodness, there's a rock outside that looks just like what I painted. There we go. Okay. I think I'll stop there. So this is how you create rocks and cliffs two different ways, one with a knife and one with a filbert.